we get stuck in a routine that just becomes way too comfortable for us and we don't know when or how to step outside of that. So I intentionally came up with a few ideas to add to your personal style without stepping too far out of your comfort zone. So I hopped into Express and this is what I came up with. I never thought I would run into a patent leather pair of denim, but I thought this is the perfect, perfect item to not replace my denim, but just kind of represent denim in my wardrobe this season in a different way. So here you will see these cute little purple pants, right? And at this moment, we already have our black, our brown, and maybe even our white vegan leather items in our wardrobe. So I thought, let me try two things at once. We're gonna try denim in color and also in vegan leather. And I think I hit the jackpot. Now, patent leather is definitely a look. I feel like I am shining, 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 yeah. I guess they're true to size. I'm wearing a size too regular. The typical denim in the sense that they have like, you know, your, your back pockets, your little side pockets, your buttons, your they feel really good on. They're not swishing when I walk. It's just like a true denim, only shiny. What do you think? Are they too shiny or can I get away with them? We can wear the rest of our basic pieces with them. We can wear our turtlenecks, we can wear our sweaters, our cardigans. We can wear our little fluffy numbers that we all got. We can wear denim jackets with it. We can wear little, quite a few things with these pants. Let me know your thoughts. Like, should I keep them or should I return this? I think the top is from the Body Contour Collection and it, it like fits a really snug. All the ruching and gathering makes it feel comfortable. And ironically, it's not giving any extra fabric or adding any extra bust to my bust, if you know what I mean. So I think it is small boob and big boob friendly for a candy top. This strappy crisscross situation in the back and I'm here for it. While this may seem daunting, we're not completely painting outside the lines here. So the idea is to do something very unexpected. It wouldn't normally do. For instance, this little chartreuse outfit is definitely an unexpected color for me. However, it's monochromatic, which I love. The silhouettes are very familiar. The color is completely a departure from what I would usually choose. And I'm learning to live with it. I can get into it, I can get into it. And I'll neutralize it with the accessories. I'll wear like neutral accessories. I'll wear like neutral understated shoes. And I think the idea works. I'm gonna break these pieces up as well. And then I will also pair the bottoms with my knitwear tops, with denim jackets. I can pair the top with some jeans. I think this top would even look cute with some gray slacks. I think I'm onto something. I think I'm onto something. Let me know your thoughts on this look. This next idea is kind of multi-faceted because we're talking contrast dressing. There are a few ways that you can apply contrast in your wardrobe. For instance, it could be in color, like I'm talking extreme color, or it could be in styles. It could also be in silhouettes. I'm not a big fan of like high contrast as it relates to color, but I definitely am in favor of contrast pieces. For instance, when I saw this pair of cargo pants in Express, I thought I had to have it. Like, give me those on sight. Let me get those. I say all that to say, where are you gonna apply contrast in your collection? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. For me, it was the trend. Trend is to have like edgy cargo pants, but I'm not into edgy at all, but I wanted a pair of cargo pants because I just think like they're so rocker, like they're so just super cool. But who would ever think like kind of a dressy pair of cargo pants, right? Nice, now that's rocker. Now that is a yes. Got my cargo pants. I can wear these pants casually with this sweater and I would feel really comfortable or I can wear them with this nice feathered top and feel amazing also, you know, dress them up, dress them down situation. Hey, let me know where you guys are gonna apply your contrast. Is it in color? Is it in style? Is it in silhouettes? Let me know what you're trying. I'm trying a few different things in this one video. Mm -hmm. Girl, who are you? Let me know your thoughts. I usually like a lot of coverage in the cleavage area and this is a sweetheart neckline and that is something that's different for me. I'm able to style this little cute top with so many different things. Like I'm excited to have it in my collection and the possibilities are endless. So try different shapes, try different silhouettes, but those that are flattering on your body because it's a great update. You can choose a color that you're already comfortable with, but you're just trying something a little bit different. You're trying a different texture, you're trying a different style, you're trying a different cut. And those are just some simple ways to add that extra bit of something to your collection. Here's something different. I literally just start incorporating black back into my wardrobe. So instead of getting a blazer, I chose a vest. Instead of getting trousers, I chose tights. Because in my mind, 
I was gonna create like this little tuxedo look, right? So I tried a few looks with it and this is what I came up with. And I think I like it, I think I like it. If nothing else, I'm sold on the comfort. Quality is actually pretty good too. Like I'm styling them up here and then also I'm gonna style them down a little bit. But I thoughts about vest in general. So here the idea is to try a different style coat. Like I wanted to avoid all the fashion rules to wear a long coat. Instead, I purchased a short coat and I think I'm happy with the purchase. Let's try the opposite of what we would normally try in a coat. Let's try a different style, right? So you just go for like super soft, everything. maybe you can edge it up just a little bit. I'm not saying like go straight rocker if you are into just dainty everything. If you love long coats, you can go a little bit shorter. If all you purchase is one style, one color, try a different style in a different color. This look is super cute for the airport, so but check me out right here, get it out of my comfort zone. Check out the cutaway. I paired this cute little jacket with my 501s, and I must say, I actually like it. What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts on it. Another idea to spruce up your look or your wardrobe essentials is to do it with your accessories, right? Here's something you can do a little bit differently as it relates to your accessories. Since if you're a person that love, love, love rhinestones, maybe you can try like a different color stone or diamond. Who knows? If you're usually a person that goes for like gold, you can choose another tone of jewelry. So for instance, I'm a gold person. However, my latest thing has been black accessories. So how to incorporate this is here is where you can actually go to a fast fashion store and try something different. So if you've been doing gold, maybe you can try something with rhinestones, maybe you can try rose gold, maybe you can try silver, but just try to incorporate some different pieces into your collection that will spruce up your wardrobe and that will be unexpected for you. If you happen to like what you've incorporated, and then maybe you can consider purchasing a more expensive piece. But let me know what you come up with. And last but not least, but treat yourself to something good because you embraced a different mindset. You embraced the idea of making a few changes in your essential collection. And for that, you deserve something good. Treat yourself to some cute loungewear or like a massage or something to say. Yes, girl, yes. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for me. I would truly, truly appreciate it. But I think my final thought is to pair maybe my pajama top with some jeans or something and take the look out. I don't know if I'm gonna wear the full, full on worsted outside. However, I do think I'm gonna try something different. I think I'm going to wear the top with a bottom of some sort. I'll take a picture and let you guys see what it looks like or how I chose to do it. But I think that is my final thought. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. And if you want to continue to hang out with me, click here. Don't forget, I will link everything below. Thank you so much for watching.